Um, hello and welcome to this special update. Um, with me, I have Honorable Lawyer Osinu Dabo. Mr. Dabo, when you were leaving for the campaign, you promised an update, a campaign update. I saw you in Nyomi. I saw you in Sierra. It seems like your people are not playing this time. I saw you also in Base and of course in Elara. Give us an update as to how um, the few days where you were in the campaign, how did it go? So, uh, this is the election for the Gambia. Hmm. For December, is the election for the Gambia. And therefore, the campaign has to match up with 4th of December. The reception was just fantastic. You just couldn't believe it. UDP has never had it so good. And because we were able to carry our five point agenda, to the Gambian people, explain to the Gambian people what needs to be done for the people of the Gambia. And in some instances, we found the voters themselves telling us what they need. And they find this embedded in our five point agenda. First Jagatia was my first point. Apart, apart from the rapturous welcome mm -hmm. we had in, 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 in uh, Bara. Uh, it took us more than 45 minutes from the ferry before we could really exit Bara. And the reception in the Fan uh, uh, Choi was spectacular. Fan Choi has a special history in the life of the United Democratic Party. It was at Fan Choi in 2015 that there was this big standoff yeah. between the party and the Gambia police. Uh, as we held, you know, they held their, they held their prison, we held their prison, you know, looking at each other, you know, until government yielded to our demands. And from then, what became the slogan was no more fear. And from Jakachoy, we went to uh, Lamen. Uh, we have had a nice stop, of course, uh, and I had a nice stop in the home of Honorable Omar Dabo. His father was our regional chairman, and uh, uh, we really, we really reminisced, talked about the nostalgic days of uh, when Alai Suntu was our chairman, regional chairman, as well as the constituency chairman, and the uh, seeker. The Alcalo of Sika said, we, Sika was not programmed. The Alcalo of Sika said, we can't pass. You have to go into the Sika village. Met the people, and they assured us of their absolute loyalty. And they pray for that 4th of December, finds all of them alive. And what, 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 what struck me was the Sali Kenya meeting. It coincided the same day. Um, uh, with, the, with the anniversary of Lamin Diva. Lamin Diva. Lamin Lamin Diva. And, and you I, were so emotional I in was, that meeting. I, I was, because, uh, you know, Lamin Dambun Diva is you know, a very special person. He was not only uh, my comrade, but he was a brother and a friend. Uh, we confided in each other. We talked about our families, what we do, what we want to do for our, or what we have gone through with our families, you know. Uh, sometimes I tease him and say, look, you are my uncle, because his sister uh, was married to one of our fathers in Bansan, so I call her my, my sister mother, so him sometimes I tease him as my uncle. Uh, really, uh, I just recollected, you know, our conversations at Main Mile 2, what our vision, our ambition for the Gambia. Do we need to have a new city? And if you're having a new city, what should be the name? I mean, we said, uh, we thought that in a place like Kobo East, we could have a new city in Kobo East. I named the city Naran. Mm. You know, uh, we thought of how really to boost agricultural production in this country. Uh, we thought of, you know, how to make, raise the standard of education in this country. And we do this. Uh, during breaks uh, between two and five o'clock, uh, mostly, uh, uh, it was usually a brain, brainstorming uh, uh, situation for us. So when 
remember that uh, on the 14th of uh, November was when he passed away. And uh, whether by coincidence or by act of providence, yeah, we met in South Kenya. And it was very emotional for me. Because my last time I was in South Kenya with him was when we had that great, magnificent rally, you know, in South Kenya. But generally, what would you say, not bank? Is it a take already? Not bank? Well, not bank. I don't think, I, I, well, not bank. We accept, we, we accept that, you know, every, every candidate has to have a ballot. Mm -hmm. It's not bank. Yeah. But we expect that the ballot that will come out as the choice of the people would be the yellow ballot. The yellow ballot. But there's absolutely no doubt about that. CRR, let's talk about your people. CRR has always been a challenging area, right? But, you know, when you got into your region and you saw the, um, I, I, I kept, I, I hear about Bibi Dabo keep saying in every meeting, he wants to loan uh, Doroba, your, your chairman, uh, the CRR chairman. When you see your people so energized, and I'm uh, going to say that I'm going to say that I'm we will take part this time. Yes, how how ready are your people? Very ready, uh, but but um, uh, but uh, the uh, village chairman, uh, in fact, the constituency chairman, Opa Salom, uh, came out in style, and in fact, they were exposing the falsehood that was being spread about in that region about me personally by people who cannot put forward a program for their people. They just have to malign Hussein Dabo and say false things against him. You know? And uh, he really debunked everything that uh, our, our opponents were saying about me. And uh, they lamented the fact that with all these things with support that they had given to a particular party in that area, yeah, they were still behind in development. They didn't even have drinking water. And I promised them a poco. And now uh, the, uh, the, uh, the drilling company has gone there to identify, to get the place identified for drilling of a boho for them. Yeah. It's unimaginable that uh, in 21st century Gambia, people can be drinking from open wells. It's unimaginable. And of course, from Bati, you know, we went to Sukuta. 4 a.m., it was like midday. 4 a.m., it was like midday. Yeah, we went to Barajare. Visitors had known as a uh, home, the house in which he was born. You know? I went to pay a fair my and a pilgrimage you know, to the old man of Nyani. Uh, Kunting was suspected. In fact, there were so many defections from Kunting, from uh, uh, Jamal Musa, Jamal Babu, Fitu, Kibri. There were about 11 villages where people came in large numbers, defected from NPP. In fact, from Jalakoto, which is, was very surprising to me, there was this man who gave, donated to the organizer the bull for our launch. Jalakoto was the area that UDP passed, you know, nobody uh, went into Jalakoto. But this was came on its own. Yeah. So NPP um, thinks uh, they're going to carry URR, and that's what me and so many other think. Um, when you look at the numbers, we think, um, you will not be able to deliver, your people will not be able to deliver URR to you. Do you think URR is still under your grasp? You still can carry URR? Well, 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 well NPP, you know, they are noisy. Mm -hmm. you know, they, make <laughs> of, they, they make a lot of noise. Yeah? Uh, we know that uh, URR, you know, the terrain, the contour, the political contour in URR is very much against NPP. In fact, when we left, they have, they have gone back. They thought that in that way that we had dismantled yeah, uh, what they had worked on. But we are also on the ground. And really, uh, in, uh, in the Sarahule speaking communities, in the Mandinka speaking communities, people are defective to UDP. But they have now realized 
that uh, NPP uh, really cannot deliver to them what they need. And uh, we had a, I mean, a great meeting in Dasalami, uh, an incidental that that's Lokoroma also comes from. Yeah? Uh, it was a joint meeting of uh, all the three constituencies. But before then, we visited Wuli East, Wuli West, uh, places like for the Kunda. Uh, we are told that there may be only one compound that had an NPP an supporter. Yeah? And this, of course, for the Kunda, we know is Jula Kunda. So Jula Kyo Kata, Jula Kyo Kata, Jula you know what, you know what that, you know what that means. Yeah. But on the whole, UDP is really in good stead in Upper River Region. Certainly, right? In good stead in Upper River Region. And uh, in Fladu, of course, when uh, uh, Joben, when went to Joben in uh, uh, Lower Fladu, of course, the Bankunda in, uh, in, up, in uh, Upper Fladu. Uh, it's uh, our backyard. The Bankunda is certainly our backyard with the cannibation, Bantanto, Mabali, Mabalkuta, Mabalkoto, Sambatoko, uh, Nibras, all those areas. That's uh, that, that, that's UDP's backyard. Yeah. You you call you call LRR your fixed deposit. I thought a uh, video West Coast would have been your fixed deposit. You call LRR your fixed deposit. No no. You <laughs> see, you see, you see, you see, we, uh, West Coast. I think I think I think we'll put West Coast as current account. Current. Don't let us say that. That's that's why, that's why, that's why we'll put the current account so that you, even when we need a number draft, you know, you can go there. But but LRR. Yeah. They have been so consistent, mm. you know, and uh, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that 65% uh, uh, of the votes would be for UDP. As far as, as far as the, the and we say 65%, because the, there are maybe one or two constituencies that we know will win, but not with that margin that we want. You know? But uh, uh, Kia West, is certainly going in the 80 80 percent and above certainly and uh, um Yana west also you yeah, know uh is going to be a huge percentage of votes for udp yeah. uh lrr generally you know uh has been in fact one time said well LR, udp was delivered in lrr you know which is in umbilical cord, very near and we cross over to uh, North Bank region to do the christening. So uh, we know that uh, uh, LRR certainly is uh, uh, the region that is going to uh, deliver us. And uh, uh, you know, the women we are saying, you know. Uh, until Melia Yaya Bundi, a man called Rabaro Baila. I mean, the new song I heard. Yeah. But uh, this, is not, this is not talking politics, just merely. No. I mean, we cannot deceive ourselves. But throughout your tour, Mr. Dabo, uh, especially in your meeting in Jarasoma, I heard you single out the people that you started the struggle with in LRR. You call them by names. And I saw somebody wrote that on Facebook. It's like, this is what uh, resonates with us. He calls out our people. Namolu lata minula. And it reminds me when we traveled to Dobo and Bansang. And I said this, every single person that came through the door, you remember their names. In Ila Multimo, how does this thing how do you do this? How does it happen? My grandmother does my grandfather doesn't remember all of us. He calls us Sungutuba <laughs> Kambaniba. And I'm thinking, how do he do this? And, you know. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, we just have to remember the period of my people have really, if I may say so, made you what you are. You know? Uh, because LRR, I thought, you know, there was no need for me to say, look, vote for us, because they have already made up their mind. But the people who are really, you know, laid the foundation since 1996, 
a huge number of them not alive. And we thought we should pay homage to them. And amongst all of them, the one that occupies prime position is a Fadid Sediba. UDP in the Jamaica's time, you know, he allocated land to us, gave it free. So that's our property. In all other places, we are renting. But that is the property given to the United Democratic Party. Who can forget that? Who should forget that? It would be an act of ingratitude if you really forget somebody like Van said that. At a time when nobody would want to get so closely associated with UDP. But he did. And I mentioned another term, Babanding Jara. He was the lone man in Karanta by then. He was the only person and his, and his family that was supporting UDP. To forget such a person really would be an act of ingratitude. All of them, people I mentioned, like Alai Mama, he just didn't sponsor support, but he spent his resources, his money on UDP. And uh, uh, we try to really remember these people because I know they also remember me. So it's an act of reciprocity. Yeah. And uh, it was it was it was also getting too much for me, then I had to stop. Especially uh, when Jenaba Mas came on to say, lawyer that we in Yubi, Yambu did the comment, Mala, and said, well, the Mala. He reminded us of Fabajo. No? And he really, when he was singing that song, he really had his own UDP t shirt on him. You know, had it on him. And you know, he's the master Barolo performer in Kia West. Yeah. So you can't forget those people because I think they injected life into the United Democratic Party. When people's morals were failing, they came up to really boost up our morals, our courage, and our determination and dedication. So we can't forget those people. And we should never forget, forget them. them. And then you were supposed to be in LRR still, right? We, the, the, you were supposed to be in LRR. But why are we here today? What happened? Well, uh, you know, I tripped, you know. Uh, we tried to see if I could get attention in the uh, Masakoko Health Center. And uh, there was no extra facilities in that health center. So we have to debate whether to go to Bansan or to come. Banjul. I would say that probably the facilities in Bansam must also be, they may be available, but they may not be sufficient, they may be deficient. Those should come to the area where you'll have really proper attention. And that is why I'm here. But you see, but this is what I have been telling our people. At uh, Kayaf, at the meeting, yes, at Kayaf, at the meeting, I did say, look, we want to have the Mazakonko Health Center upgraded to the status of a hospital with all the with all the equipment. I informed the people that there is no one of knowledgeable and uh, efficient, dedicated doctors in this country. What we do not have in our hospitals is really the necessary we are with us, the equipment that they need to perform their their, 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 their duties. If there was a, if there was a extreme machine in Mazakonko, there would have been no need for me to come. There would have been no need for me to come to Banjo. And this is what I am asking the government people that they should vote for UDP, so that the deficiencies in our hospital, the inadequacies in our in our in our hospital, the unavailable materials. The unavailable medication and unavailable equipment in our hospital. Because we can make them available. Uh, you think of Brikama. Look at the population. Just Brikama alone, you know, Brikama town alone. Yeah. Not to talk of the entire Combo Central. You, what do you have? A health center. What they call it major health center. I don't know what it's majoring in. Every day, they are referring people from Brikama Health Center to Banju or to Sarakuna. Should that be happening? I think that that hospital, that health center, should be equipped in a way that referrals to Banjo, you know, would be minimal. And I think all of our hospitals 
should be equipped in a way that uh, it will no longer be necessary for us to be traveling to Dakar to really receive medical attention. I had mentioned this at one time, one of my rallies, and I made reference to um, um, my, my, my nephew, our son, uh, Dr. Keva Mare. I said, look, look at the, that was the time he did any operation. Look at them, look, Kimba Mende, the, has demonstrated the great professional skills that he has. His in-depth knowledge in surgery. He could do knee operation here. How much would it cost anyone to go to Dakar to do that? What do we need to do? We need to equip our hospital in a way. So uh, Dr. Marina, when he says that this is the type of surgery I want to do, he just does it without thinking of anything. He has the knowledge. He has the expertise. So he should really be put in a position to really perform. And I'm sure he gets job satisfaction from that. So, ولكنهم <laughs> The five point agenda health, health service delivery of Akonale. Ninsita, in Sajilul following him, you know, Molba Jalale, member Kelly, member Tamala, Najaral Bundatu. A Kadapas of the Kodol, Walla will be Kutule. The person in Nak had a mudding like Top Dom Yapon. Janibe Tamabal Keller. No, a bean bed, bean bed, bean bed, do not meant to be bed. No. It is the man who came through the uh, phone call, uh, internet, you know, the Joseph Women conferences, you know, Zoom conferences. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to do. If it's a lot of money, any more came in, well, do not want to come to the hotel or the need that. If it's a team in the jet, do not have to shop in a why? Yeah. Especially in the UN phone call, man, yeah. ولكنني <laughs> 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 And uh, on the fourth of December, me anga falling drunk in Bangkok. But tonight, tonight, na pasi he na na mi wa lenen wa li le kujot lele wa dara jodut na na manya orek for routine checkup. So lu fi nga yek dar sa sayram lu war mai nga dem nga ham nga nyong ham nga jise nga jise nyong nyong in nyong examine la. فجلا <laughs> بنيو بنيو سنتو بنيو مغربو 
Uh, but for the Finally, uh, mobilization of the Soma. Soma, <laughs> Soma, 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 Dalkranu <laughs> Sindi na kumase. Kuno mol na tantarle soma. Mm. Baka mkoro. Eh, Onre bulo na musobe konole. Ani madam kinde. Eh, madam sise kinde. Yeah. Ena daya wanya kawako. Sibiti nungu baro bulo bakao. Adi yano bakao niko baro bulo. Kukubadi. Mm -hmm. Bena ta jeto. Ngami wa mfambe. Ngami wa mfambe. Mfambe, mfambe maabia la oto. Mfambe matale de ka. Jambu muta de ka. Kado. Bari ngami wa wano. Walu mfana mbe jambu donke. Lame baro bulo bado na le. Yeah. Yeah. So mal na fundi na ta na bendu ndro ka nyama na we na na patio ni bena patio le loko kidimandika mantra mo loko mantra mo loko kidimandika patio loko mo loko kidimandika kaita ni mo loko kabu kujy patio mankide ya ni manke pati kide rinti gambi ang kodi ayat na kabu kujy mo loko adu fundi ke ulo amus kunda ke kunda wala na na man yong je ye so energized. Nana maje fony na fony ko le ka ko ntel le be nyin ka to fony ntel le ba ga nyela this is my election and eh na lo le ka ko sini nyin nyon tumo eh janning ba so re tema eh si lo so to do ko da le me le fata la tena ani me le fata na la tena si lo so to as la fata as la fata ko le ale bo <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Dabo. We wish you all the best. Thank eh? you. Thank you. Thank you. Very campaign. You are for Yaming. Janine Soma, you live at the Slokan, the Kataka, We wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.